Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be covering how to create PHP variables. Now PHP variables are used for storing different values, for example numbers or arrays or text strings, and we'll be getting more into that in the future tutorials. But in a way, once a variable has been declared, it can be used anywhere in the PHP source file. So you don't have to worry about typing out the actual value every time in the source file. You can just simply update that one single variable or the value of that variable. So all variables start with a special character and that character is the dollar sign and followed by the dollar sign is the name of the variable of your choosing. So I'm just gonna make up one here called variable name and I'm gonna set it equal to Robert. Now, when I say this variable name equals the text string Robert, I'm actually meaning that I'm assigning the text string Robert to this variable. So when you're explaining it to someone who's very knowledgeable in PHP, they may misunderstand you if you say it equals. Now, normal, normally when we see an equal sign there, we would say that this variable equals Robert, but really it's the text string Robert being assigned to the variable variable name but in a way I don't want to confuse you too much so let's just move on here let's make another variable we're gonna call it a num a num for a number for short and we're gonna assign the value 10 to it and let's make another one called a number and we're gonna assign the value 9000 to it so a common mistake for new PHP programmers is that they forget the dollar sign in front of the variable. So if you typed a number equal 9,000, then that variable isn't gonna work. You may even get an error message. So it definitely make sure that you are typing the dollar sign, especially if you're new to PHP. Now variables are also case sensitive, meaning a number is different from a number with a capital A. So this is another common mistake for new PHP programmers. Definitely make sure that you're typing that variable name the exact same way as you have it up here or when you declared it. So with PHP, unlike with other languages, variables do not have to be declared before adding a value to it. So for example, if we had X value, and then we had x value equals 8. We could have simply said up here x value equals 8 and not have declared or assigned 8 to x value down here. So as soon as you have used that variable, it has now been declared. You also do not have to tell PHP which data type the variable contains, for example, an integer for a num or a string Robert. PHP automatically converts the variable to the correct data type depending on its value. So as soon as we declare this variable and assign the text Robert to it, this variable already knows it's a string variable. The same goes for a num. It already knows that this is an integer variable. So some of the common rules for naming variables are a variable name must start with a letter or underscore. Another rule is a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores such as A through Z lowercase, capital A through Z, zero through nine, or the underscore. And a variable name cannot contain spaces. So if the variable is more than one word, you can separate it with capitalization. So let's say we want to create a variable name username. We could have it as username separated by capitalization, or we could use an underscore such as user underscore name. So those are some of the common rules for naming PHP variables. And I will place these on the web page at the phpbasics.com. And that does conclude this tutorial. So definitely be sure you take the quiz at the phpbasics.com to make sure you understand some of these basic concepts for creating PHP variables. So I'll see you in the next video.